bacon. Beef bacon. Today I'm going to walk you through a beef bacon. This is going to be almost exactly the same process as a pork belly bacon. Really the only difference here is the animal. I got the same cut of meat but from beef. So I got a belly cut from our local butcher which I called ahead to order specifically. But now we have to back up a little bit so I can show you how to set up your cure. So I went to our local butcher and I got a beautiful piece of beef belly or plate meat however you want to call it. Great to talk to your local butcher because then they can create these custom cuts for you when you're doing special recipes just like this. So we're going to be doing an equilibrium cure or a dry cure. So this is all going to be based on weights and percentages. When we get to the recipe part, I'm going to have you check the recipe online for specifics. First thing I need to do is weigh out my meat. So I have the scale zeroed out here. We're going to go for grams because it's a little more precise. And it's all going to be easier to figure out as far as percentages. And we are at 2,958 grams. So for salt, we need 2.5%. So we'll weigh that out, zeroing out our scale first again. 74 grams. If we're just a hair over, that's just fine. Now, for sugar, we're going to go for just 1%. So that should be easy. 29.58 times 1% going to be 29 grams. I think we'll just go up to 30. There we go. This is sodium nitrite at a 6.25 percent rate. So we need to do a little bit of math. At 200 parts per million, which is our goal, we're going to come out to about nine and a half grams of usage. So let's weigh that out and get it mixed in to our cure. So just over. For a home user, I think that'll be just fine. Add it in. Now we're ready to mix this up. Make sure the salt and sugar and the cure are nice and incorporated. And then we'll start sprinkling it onto our beef belly. So I'm just going to try and sprinkle about half of it on top, about like that. And I'm going to rub that in. Try and get in any sort of crevices, try and get it to stick to the meat as best as I can. Keeping in mind, we're also going to be putting this into a vac sealed container to kind of keep all those salts and cures pressed up on the meat. Now this is a really basic cure. If you wanted to add some flavors or maple syrup or something like that as an extra inclusion, this would be a great time to do it before it goes into the vac seal. But for this, we're just gonna do it really basic and then we'll add some topical seasonings as we go into the smoker to infuse some more flavors. There we go. The salts look like they're sticking pretty well. So we're ready to vac seal. And before I go into the vacuum sealant, I'm going to take the seasoning and cure that kind of fell off and is in this tray and pack it into the sides so that we get a nice even cure all around. You can lift it up and press it down. You want to make sure we use all the cure and salt available. You can see with the air sucked out that the salt is pushed up against the meat really well. So this is going to go into the fridge now for the curing process. Now I'm going to flip this every 24 hours because you will see some moisture starting to accumulate underneath the meat. And we want to spread that out as best as possible so we get a nice even cure. We took our beef bacon out of the brine yesterday. Then we put it through a nice cold water rinse to get off all the excess salts, nitrates, things like that. Then we set it on a rack line tray like this and placed it in the fridge overnight. That's going to help dry out the exterior, which is going to form our pellicle. And again, our pellicle, thin layer of proteins that builds up when the drying process starts, and that's going to create a tacky exterior. That's going to really help with smoke absorption once we get into the smoker. Now, after about 12 hours forming our pellicle in the fridge, we're ready to season and get into the smoker. I have our smoker preheated to 180 degrees for our smoke setting. That'll help infuse our flavor. Once we've done that, we're gonna increase the temperature of our smoker to 225 for our thermal processing. Before we go into the smoker, we gotta add our topical seasoning to our beef bacon. And today, we're gonna to be using Rodeo Rub. 
Now, Rodeo Rub is a great beef rub for anything that's going to have a lot of smoke flavor, and it's got great salts and sugars that are going to balance out our bacon really well. We have a nice sticky surface that'll help our seasoning stick, so we don't need any extra binder. You could probably do one if you're really ambitious, but I don't think there's a need. So nice even layer, kind of press it in a little bit, working our way around. I'm really excited about this. Beef bacon is something that's really unique, but it's still great for so many things, sandwiches, breakfast. So I'm really excited to see what this turns out like. Before we go into the smoker, we're gonna let this sit at room temperature for about 45 minutes to let the seasoning really adhere before we go into the smoker. We hung our bacon on bacon hooks and set it into a 225 degree preheated smoker. We smoked it until it hit an internal temperature of 150 degrees, which took just over three hours. After our smoking process, I pulled our beef bacon out and I let it rest at room temperature for about an hour. That'll bring the temperature down a little slower so we don't shock the outside and help retain moisture. Then I set it in the cooler overnight to cool completely. Now that is gonna solidify the proteins and the fats so it's a lot easier to slice. So we got a beautiful red color here. I'm looking forward to a nice smoke ring. So let's slice into it and see what we got. Look at that, beautiful. A little on the fatty side, which just means more flavor. Awesome looking bacon. We got a nice cure all the way through, you can see, because we got a nice even red color. Little bit of a smoke ring, and it smells delicious. So we're gonna slice it up, fry it up, and try it. Our beef bacon fried up beautifully. And now for the best part, tasting. That is so good. That is very salty, sweet, smoky. The fat in this is, it's, you can tell it's bacon, but it's different, it hits different. It's very, very good. I can't say it's better, definitely not worse. But compared to regular pork belly bacon, it's, it's got all those qualities. It's just got that beefy flavor instead. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm really glad we went with the rodeo rub. I think the sweetness and the smokiness of that rub really added just that little extra oomph to our beef bacon here. And overall, I think it turned out really, really well. We got a nice even cure, so we got great saltiness throughout. Got lots of fat on here, so we've got tons of flavor. And that just, it's a really nice product. Really happy with the way this turned out. Mm. So basically, if you're looking to try a really nice, simple, dry cure recipe, this is going to be a great option. If you like this recipe and want to know more, head to psseasoning.com for more information, including the products I used. If you like this video, click subscribe, and you can check us out on all forms of social media. Until next time, I'm Chef Jed. Thanks for watching.